What's up guys? Welcome back again to my channel. So, salamat po sa mga sumusubaybay sa mga video lesson. At ngayon, talakayin natin itong ganitong klaseng limit of function na kung saan magiging zero yung denominator. Which is, bawal nga na maging zero ang denominator. Katulad niya. This is the limit of the function where x approaches to negative 4. Okay, so... We're going to solve this one. So, ang denominator ay magiging negative 4 plus 4, which is the denominator will become 0. Undefined. So, bawal yung undefined. So, anong gagawin natin para hindi siya maging undefined? Okay? So, madali lang naman solve to. Um, ang una lang ay isimplify natin bago tayo mag-substitute ng value of the variable. So, example, this one, number one. So, i-factor muna natin yung numerator. Okay, para masimplify siya. So, we have 3x at saka x. Factor ng 3x squared. Ito naman ay plus, plus 4 at saka minus 2 over x plus 4 where the limit is x approaches to negative 4. So, pwede na natin i-cancel sa x plus 4, x plus 4. Okay, so matitira the limit of 3x minus 2 where x approaches to negative 4. And then, we have now 3 times negative 4 minus 2. So, si x naging negative 4. Substitute na. And then, we have negative 12 minus 2. Negative 12 minus 2 is negative 14. Okay, ganun lang siya kadali. Next, number 2. Limit of 3 plus h quantity squared minus 9 over h where h approaches to 0. So, Kapag direkta natin, substitute yung 0 dun kay x, magiging undefined siya. Bawal! So, anong gagawin natin? Simplify ulit. Try nating palawakin to. Okay. So, this will become 3 times 3, 9. 3 times h, 3h. Times 2 is plus 6h. And then, h times h plus h squared over h minus 9 pala dun. So, our limit is h approaches to 0. Next, simplify natin daw. 9 minus 9 is 0. So, matitira, we have 6h plus h squared over h where the limit of h approaches to 0. So, factor natin ulit to. So, we have h times 6 plus h over h. So, limit of h approaches to 0. So, cancel si h. So, matitira ay limit of 6 plus h where h approaches to 0. So, final answer natin is 6 plus h magiging 0. Final answer is 6. Okay, last number 3. Okay, so paano naman to? So, ganun din. Kapag direct na natin simplify si 0 sa, sa denominator, magiging undefined. So, ang gagawin natin dito, magmumultiply tayo ng 1. Na kung saan si 1, oh, wait lang. So, we have limit of square root of t plus 9 minus 3 over t, where t approaches to 0. Si 1 ay magiging conjugate na ito. We have square root of t plus 9 plus t over square root of t plus 9 plus 3. Kung baga, i-rationalize natin yung numerator. 
next number two a two sorry next step is multiply numerator by the numerator so this will become t mod numerator by the numerator so since ito ay sum and difference of two binomial parehas magkaiba yung gitna ang technique lang sa wag multiply nyo yan ay first term by first term last term by last term kasi yung middle term makakancel yun sigurado magiging zero so ito magiging square root of t plus 9 quantity squared minus 3 times 3 9 over t times ito magiging t plus 9 square root nya plus 3 where the limit is t approaches to 0 ok next so ito yung magiging 0 hindi pa kasi ito yung magiging undefined pa rin 0 to so simplify natin to cancel yung squared so we have t plus 9 minus 9 over t square root of t plus 9 plus 3 ok so limit of the function where the approach is to 0 so 9 minus 9 is 0 so matitira sa numerator i t over t times square root of t plus 9 plus 3 where limit is t approaches to 0 so cancel to kasi factor naman so matitira dito ay 1 over square root of t plus 9 plus 3 where the limit is t approaches to 0 so 1 ayan, pwede tayo mag substitute hmm. si t magiging 0 so 1 over square root of 0 plus 9 plus 3 so 1 over square root of 9 plus 3 so 1 over square root of 9 3 plus 3 so 1 over 6. so ito yung maging value na hindi na siya undefined so yan, ganyan lang kasimple mag simplify ng ganitong klaseng limit of function na kung saan yung denominator ay 0 una munang gagawin natin ay isimplify yung expression okay and then bago tayo mag substitute ng value nung variable. So that's all for today. So huwag kakalimut ng like, share, and of course subscribe sa mga hindi pa po nakapag subscribe. So ganun lang kadali ang basic calculus. Huwag kayong matatakot sa basic calculus. Sabi nga basic. So basic calculus. God bless.